According to the White House, on November 2nd, uh, personal attorneys for President Joe Biden clearing out the Biden uh, Center, the Penn Center, um, that where his think tank where he was working uh, after he left the vice presidency in 2017 until just about when he launched his 2020 presidential campaign, um, they were clear, clearing out uh, the offices. They went to a locked closet and they found documents uh, that appear to contain classified markings on them. Uh, according to the White House, the president's personal attorneys informed the White House counsel's office immediately. They then contacted the National Archives and Records Administration, uh, which took custody of those documents the next morning um, and also notified the Department of Justice to conduct a review of that matter, the way that those documents were handled. Uh, so we understand that that review is ongoing. Merrick Garland, the attorney general, um, has designated a, a, a Trump holdover a U.S. attorney from Chicago um, to handle that review. These documents uh, uh, were uh, that apparently contained classified markings. We're told that it came from his time as vice president. Just because a document is marked as classified doesn't mean that it is necessarily classified in and of itself. Um, and also that there are multiple levels of classification um, and potential penalties um, for mishandling that range from sort of, uh, uh, you know, depending on how sensitive that information is. The White House did say that these are a small number of documents. It will be uh, important to see over the next uh, days and weeks ahead, see just how many documents are, there, are they, at what level were they classified at, if they were classified at all, uh, and potentially what sensitive information could have been, uh, uh, could have been revealed if those documents had been revealed publicly. So we don't yet know how these documents uh, came into, into made their way to the uh, to now President Biden's uh, office at the time, if that's something that he, that he took with him or staff took with him um, after he left the vice presidency. We do know that in the case of former President Trump, um, he shipped boxes and boxes of documents down to his private club in Florida. The differences here, uh, a critical one is that uh, th these documents were discovered by the president's person, the President Biden's personal attorneys um, with former President Trump. Uh, some of those documents were requested by federal authorities on multiple occasions, and at times, uh, in, in at least one instance, uh, former President Trump's attorneys said that they had no more documents when federal authorities, when they subsequently secured a, a search warrant from a federal judge uh, based on probable cause that those documents exist, existed, found dozens and dozens of more uh, documents with classified markings at that at that uh, at that club in Florida. Already, we're seeing Republicans who are newly empowered on Capitol Hill after taking control of the House of Representatives, questioning the Department of Justice's handling of this, suggesting that there are more similarities here, uh, some suggesting that the White House should be raided, that why it hasn't been raided yet, uh, which is a, a line that we, that we saw uh, posted by former President Trump. Legal jeopardy that the, that the current president uh, could be in seems very, the chances of there being significant legal jeopardy seem to be very small at this point. But the political ramifications of this, he's already condemned his predecessor's handling of classified information after he left office, uh, those will certainly resonate for some time. And this is certainly something that the president will be asked about um, in the in the days and weeks ahead. And whether or not he decides to answer that and how he answers that will itself be uh, be revelatory.